Hey guys. Hi. This week's uh, renovation tip on the camper is going to be about painting. And since Kim does all the painting, I don't do that. <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> we're going to let her actually uh, describe to you what she does and how she goes about it and has so much good luck with actually getting it to stay. So I'm going to let her take over and go from there. Hi guys. So we're going to go over the steps that we took. So first of all, you can tell we took out our dinette area. You're going to take all of your hardware down and if you have any holes, of course, fill those in and make sure they're flattened and smooth. Um, and then you're going to clean your wall. Our walls were originally a dark brown, which is why we wanted to paint because it was just really dark and kind of gloomy or dreary. I don't know. It was just really dark in there. It felt like you were in a cave. So we wanted to make sure that we brightened it up and made it more cozy for us, I guess. So that, like I said, it was a dark brown. You're going to take all your hardware off. You're going to fill any holes in. Make sure it's nice and smooth. Then you're going to want to really, really make sure you clean the wall well. So the formula that I used was I used a simple green and a magic eraser. Magic erasers are great for cleaning anything. So I just sprayed my wall with the magic or with the simple green. Then I took my wet or magic eraser and just scrubbed it really well. Then I did go over it again with the clean magic eraser. You just want to make sure that any you don't want any kind of grease or any kind of remnants of any on the wall or your paint is not going to adhere well. So after I did that, so like I said, I took the hardware down, filled the holes, scrubbed the wall really good. You got to let it dry before you start painting. You want a dry surface. So then I use Kills primer and coated the, did a couple coats on the wall. The Kills hides, it's almost like a wallpaper on there, so that kind of gives you a smoother surface to paint on and gives you something for your paint to adhere to. So that's what I did there, and then I chose a light gray paint to go over the top of that. So even though your paint had primer in it, you still primered the wall so it what so it bite better. Right. So everything I researched, they said even though your paint has primer in it, you still want to primer your walls just to make sure you get that coverage. As I said, this was a really dark brown wall, and so just to make sure it was covered in your paint. Especially when you're going in with a lighter color. If you're going in with a darker color, you, you might not have as much issue. But we went with a lighter color, so we wanted to make sure that you cover that dark as well. And you have that ad adhesion. So I went with the Royal. It's an Ace True Value brand, I believe. Um, we did a satin. And like I said, I did a light gray. Royal satin, light gray. Um, I don't like shiny walls, so that's why I did that. But satin is still you can clean that, you can scrub it. Like I use the magic erasers to, scrub, to scrub the walls. It does really well. So I did this and I did a couple of coats. Let me see, I did like two coats of paint too, two or three coats of paint. It just depends on what your wall looks like. But so, once again, take all your hardware down, fill all of your holes, scrub your wall. The reason why I chose the Simple Green is because it's not toxic. Well, and the cleaning process is probably the most technical or the most important process of the whole the thing. The cleaning process is very, very important. So like if you cook in your camper or as we have dogs, we have a Newfoundland that likes to shake her head and get slobber everywhere. So it gets on the walls. <laughs> so you have to scrub and make sure they're really, really clean. And so you, your paint adheres really well. And so then, like I said, the satin paint is Cleanable. I know it's light colored, so you can come over here. We have three dogs. They are a little messy, and as you can see, yeah, occasionally I take my magic eraser and I wipe it down, and it comes clean, and the paint is still looks new. Yep. So. Cool. But yeah, so it's done. It's done wonders in here. I mean, we took out, of course, the balances and put up some curtains. Just made it more us and more homey I think. We brightened it up a lot. Okay guys I hope that was helpful. Um, like I said uh, it just it made a world of difference in here um, and I don't have the patience to do that um, type of work. I'll stick with my woodworking and and uh, doing the, the, the rough end stuff. 
But uh, anyway, I hope that helps out for uh, your future painting needs and what you're doing. And I uh, want to appreciate everything uh, that you guys are watching us. And uh, please hit that subscribe button and continue. We're going to be doing these weekly. And uh, hopefully we can teach you something and help out, maybe give you ideas. So if you have any questions, um, just let us know. We'll be more than glad to a um, answer them. I can give you any, like the supplies that I used to do this. Um, if you have, so like I said, if you have any questions, just let us know. Okay, guys, have a great week, and we'll talk at you later. Bye.